And I was on a panel with filmmakers and kind of industry people. And Ken White, who is from around here, um, he approached me, he was in the audience, and he approached me about this project, Winter in the Blood, and which he's a screenwriter for and producer. And he was really interested in the idea of bringing Native Voice to the project because uh, both of the filmmakers, Andrew and Alex White, they're non-Native, but are very close to the story. Um, but Ken really felt passionate about having um, Native American presence um, as part of the filmmaking process. So um, he knew about our work, Longhouse Media, and was um, really interested in us training interns. And so that's how we came to the project. A mashup of behind the scenes, um, a little bit about Cheske Spencer as, as, as an actor, as a um, seasoned native um, man in the film industry, um, and then that relationship to the need for a native voice in storytelling and filmmaking. So. The intern story is part of it, but it's also this kind of combination of um, of why there needs to be um, opportunities for um, getting experience and making a film too. It's definitely a local, regional story about the people and the beauty of the area, but. What's really important to us is that Native people have an opportunity to, um, and the tools to express their own stories and their own visions of how they want to be presented on film. And so I guess, I guess I hope the audience understands the importance of authentic storytelling and the importance of um, embracing different viewpoints and perspectives, and that there's a real need for Native people um, to have access to tell their stories. And I think it's, I mean, we're on Indigenous land, and so it's Native stories are all of our stories. It's everyone's history. I have to say the interns we brought just killed it. It was like they did an incredible job and they were integral parts of their um, their teams. Um, Jake, he's from Arizona, he was in the camera department and everybody's just blown away with his professionalism and his attention to detail and he um, he's, he's going to be a filmmaker. It's going to do good work, and um, I think they really brought a strong presence to the set. Um, Lauren Monroe, he's Blackfeet, he was really able to um, share his perspective as a Blackfeet man in some of the details of making this story, which I think are critical. Um, for example, just the way someone would wear their hair if they were mourning. So he was able to bring um, that authenticity um, to sh you know, telling those stories. So. From what we saw, the interns came to an understanding that there's a hard reality to movie making. It's not easy. There's a difference between having an HD camera and going out with your friends and um, editing all night long and creating a great story versus being part of this intense crew and team where everybody has a function and um, there's a reason for that and I think I think the interns um, experienced that that reality of what it takes to be in a crew um, you know a lot of them took away a passion for um, really committing to filmmaking and storytelling, so that's good. Um, or recommitting, you know, to tell me their story. And what else? Making new friends. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we're tight, you know, at night, after a 16-hour workday, we'd sit 
down and eat together and laugh. And um, I think that bonding experience, it's like when you go through something like boot camp or you know, college with a group of people, you know each other for a lifetime, or you can, and you have this commonality to draw from.